Hey, what's going on guys, Zareth here. Today I'm going to be bringing you an Unholy Death Knight guide for the patch 5.2. So the first thing I'm going to go over today is my talents. My talent builds, I'm using Roiling Blood for the first tier, because I like spreading my dots with my blood, bo my blood boil, rather than having to worry about the cooldowns. And when I'm running with a monk or something, I'll use Plague Leech to take my uh, diseases off a target and then put them on, I mean just activate a rune. My second tier I'm using Lichborn for the heal, that's pretty good. Third tier I'm using Asphyxiate, sometimes I'll go with Chillblains for that extra CC. Fourth tier I'm using Conversion, because I like that sustained heal, rather than the, the death pact heal, which I'll, I'll still use that sometimes when I need it, but as of now I'm going with Conversion. Uh, fifth tier I'm using Blood Tap, because I like using my, I like my own my own uh, rune management and I can activate runes whenever I want not upon chance and for the last tier I'm using remorseless winner because I like using that for more CC in arenas but in RBGs you're gonna want to go with Gorfiend's grasp for that mass grip and for the glyphs I'm using glyph of icy touch for the dispel glyph of AMS for the extra survivability and glyph of unholy frenzy for the extra survivability but you can end up switching Death and Decay for Glyph of Unholy Frenzy or Dark Sakor for Glyph of Icy Touch if you're in R if you're in BGs or RBGs. Either of which work pretty well. So those are my talents and glyph glyphs guys. Hope you enjoyed that. So this is gonna be the macro section of the guide. I'm just gonna be briefly going over all my macros. Um, they're all gonna be in the bottom of the description, so go check that out. So the first macro I have for you guys is my Dark Transformation macro. It will cast Dark Transformation, and make my pet attack the target, and cast Huddle, so he takes less damage. This is my Death Coil macro, so I can use it to either heal my minion using the mod control, or without any mods, attack my target. This is my Summon Gargoyle macro, which summons my Gargoyle and causes it to attack my target. And this is my Na macro, so it stuns, so my ghoul stuns the target. This is my huddle macro when my ghoul's taking a lot of damage. This is my leap macro which causes my pet to leap. This is my cancel attack macro which causes my pet to either attack or stop attacking the target. This is my necrotic strike macro so I can use blood charges to use my necrotic strike. This is my blood presence unholy presence macro which allows me to switch between unholy and blood presence whenever I want. And this is my burst macro, which allows me to burst. Now, use 14 is my trinket, which is down here. This is the 14th slot, so it allows me to use my burst trinket. And this is my death strike macro, which allows me to use my blood charges to activate death strike. Uh, slash cast, or target arena 1, target arena 2, target arena 3. Pretty self-explanatory. This is my Lichborn macro, which allows me to heal myself with Lichborn. And finally, this is my Death Pact and Raise Dead macro. It will Raise Dead and Death Pact for you, but I'm not using Death Pact right now, so that is um, when I'm using Death Pact. But yeah guys, those are my macros, now moving on to the next section. So this portion of the guide is going to be about gear management and reforging and everything. So your primary stats to, ki to get first are your hit and expertise. Now the hit cap right now is 3% for PvP, and I'm way above that, but it's 3%, and the expertise cap is also 3%. Once you get those capped out, you're going to want to start reforging your gear into either haste or mastery. It's up in the air which one's better, but I, I usually like using mastery as my primary stat, but haste is just as good, I think. So, for example, with this one, since I'm expertise capped, I'll reforge expertise to haste, since mastery is already there. This one hit to mastery. This one expertise to mastery. This one hit to haste. It's just stuff like that. It's, it's really easy to reforge, but once you get balanced out, you'll know because you'll start doing more damage and your global cooldown will get faster. So reforging is really easy, and you'll understand that soon enough. Now. Next thing you gotta worry about is the sockets. What I used, what I like to use for sockets are the 160 strength for my head, 
or for any red rather, I'd, I'd like to use 160 strength. Because that is just, strength is your primary stat overall for, for gems. And for the blue slots, I'll use 160 PvP power and 160 PvP resilience. Because I like the, the, the extra damage I can do and the extra damage I can take. And what other ones do I use? For any for for some of the blue slots, I'll use 320 PVP power because I, I like that extra damage, like I said. And then I went with the PVP power for those ones. PVP power, PVP power and mastery. I might end up switching that one to PVP power and resilience. And for the enchantments, I usually like to go with the 200 strength, 200 crit strike. Now I'll put all the enchantments you need in the description. I don't know them by name, so for the uh, for the cape I'll use the 180 crit strike enchantment. Chest I'll use 200 PVP resilience. The uh, wrists I'll use the 180 strength, which is really good. Then the enchantment for this is 170 strength. And then for the belt, you're gonna want to use the the belt buckle, so you get that extra socket. And you can use any gem in that. It's it's a uh, it's a you can use any gems in it. I forget the name of it, but yeah. Um, for the legs, you're gonna want to use the um, there's a there's a leg enchantment which I still don't have because it costs a bunch of money. But I'll put that in the description. And then this one is you can get another enchantment which increases your run speed, and it increases mastery or something like that. And I don't think there's any enchantments for those. But for your sword, you're going to want to use Rune of the Fallen Crusader, which has a chance to heal you for 3% of your health and increase your strength by 15%, which is amazing. And you don't even need to pay for it. So those are the uh, that's the gear, reforging, and sockets, gems, enchantment parts of the guide. Now we're going to move on to the rotations. So finally, guys, we're going to be going over the Death Knight Unholy Rotation. So what I like to do is I like to apply my diseases with Plague Strike, Scourge Strike once for the Runic Power Regeneration, Festering Strike twice for the Blood or for the Death Runes, and then I'll Runic Dump with Death Coil, and then I'll want to pop my Burst to get all those Death Runes, pop my Ebon Gargoyle if I want to Burst, and then Necrotic Strike a few times, and then you can either Festering Strike or you can st Scourge Strike. If you need to reapply diseases, you can uh, Plague Strike again. And then I'll runic dump with death coil. I'll get those death runes back. And then I'm going to want a dark transformation when I can. And then I can get that full stun. It's a six second or four second stun. And it actually does a lot of damage. And then you can necrotic strike a few more times for the healing absorption. And then you're you're just going all out. And not many people, not many targets can stand that, that uh, that pressure. So you can put a lot of pressure on targets by just doing that sort of thing. So that is what I like to do with my rotation. If I'm taking a lot of damage, I'll activate conversion. And if I need to, I'll use my uh, AMS and Lichborn, and then I can heal myself. And then if I need to interrupt a target, I'll use my leap. But you also need to know how to switch between Blood Presence and Unholy Presence because if you're not taking much damage, why you're just wasting rune regeneration and staying on your target and stuff. But if you're taking a lot of damage, you're going to want to switch to Blood Presence, which increases your stamina by 25% and your armor and reduces damage taken. So that's, that's really good for when you're taking a lot of damage. But yeah guys, it's basically just knowing when you want to pop your burst and stuff, basic rotations, you can also use the uh, the death and decay for the extra extra damage output, and remorseless winner for the stuns, strangulate 68, so you can stun really a lot when you're, when you're an unholy, but yeah guys, that is the basic unholy PvP guide for patch 5.2. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.